This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. Welcome. As part of our special focus trying to understand what it means to be an Indian student on a foreign campus, we're at Deakin University in Melbourne in Australia. Let's just try and piece together what the day is in the life of an Indian student here. With me now in just a few moments, uh, Adit Pava and uh, Priyank Jain. Let's just meet them right away. Come on over guys. Wonderful hi, meeting nice you. Meeting hi. You. Hi. Hi. Tell me, uh, you know, Adit, for you first, you're, of course, very young, just, just out of school, but yeah. you also got a 95%. Many wow. would say would have opened doors for you for many of India's top that's educational correct. institutions. That's correct. Yet you chose to come here. Yes. Why? I, I heard about sports, a deacon offering sports management, which is obviously not available in India. So I sort of did a little, little bit of research on sports management and I really wanted to do this course. And so then, it was the course. It was. You were always clear. It one was thing was going the, to course, be the course, and then uh, Deakin is obviously uh, number three in the world in sports management for the course. And then plus on my basis of class twelve marks in cricket, I got the vice chancellor hundred percent scholarship. So that's why I'm here. Right. And Priyanka, you've done your undergrad. You had even worked a short stint with NDTV yeah. as well in, in in the past. You began with communication, as you were telling me earlier, but then you made the switch. Uh, first thing was. Um, undergrad stun uh, five years in at NTV has said so I thought I had the right right age and the energy levels at the were at the max and I thought I just now wanted to study no I, of course <laughs> I wanted to study one more time and more than anything uh, for him it was course for me it was more about international exposure getting out of your comfort zone coming to a country like Australia definitely the education is much much better over here the way it is uh, in India in comparison to India plus uh, as I uh, and I would also like to say the holistic development that you go through what does that mean that means uh, you obviously you see a lot of uh, people from very diverse cultures diverse ethnic backgrounds from different countries I think that is the best form of learning being with those people working studying eating sleeping doing everything that you do over here with those kind of people that is how like, you develop I guess that's what they mean when they say a global campus but I'm sure it yep. comes with its own set of challenges are there that's what true. for you has been uh, sort of a challenge in a classroom which is so very mixed one thing would be uh, just like getting out, like like Priyank said, getting out, out of your comfort zone, being like a lot younger than he is. So I obviously find it a little more difficult, like just easily go up and talk to people, like randomly say hi and all of that. So that I think is definitely one of the biggest challenges. And then one really big challenge I face here is the food. I see. Obviously. <laughs> so the food is like one thing that I really need to learn some cooking. What, what about the food makes it so tough? It's supposed especially to have among the world's bachelor, best spe food. Especially being a bachelor student, I, I literally don't know anything to cook. And I would really recommend all the international students going abroad to learn cooking and go. Okay, so I, I'm sure that there are other little bits of this campus here that you want to show us around and yep, sort of sure. take us through. So let's get yes, started right sure, away. Sure. Let's move. <laughs> talking about food and how it's not always easy to organize your own food and here we are give me a, a sense of uh, what you guys are usually here how many times a day do you come here now come on out with it <laughs> how much time is spent here uh, quite a, I would say out of um, a couple of days uh, out of the week I, I, I'm here for about Four meals a week? Oh, that's, not, that's not so bad. Nah, that's not, because that's Deacon not so has, bad. Deacon has like a lot of cafes here. Okay. So this is yeah. just one of them. I yeah. see. So this is like four days a week. Yeah. And then it, it's evenly spread out well, between the other cafes. Yeah, yeah, corner cafes. Really but good. yeah, this is pretty good as well. Yeah. So, see, to be honest, it depends. It's a huge campus. So right. You'll, you may have one class here, one and then on some it just depends, here. Right, yeah. right. So it depends on Tell your Tell me one thing, parts. you know, usually people, students from a nationality, tend to hang around. There's, there's a certain comfort factor yeah, that, yeah. that tends to happen. Do you have to consciously try and break out of it and tell yourselves, 
No, I mean it's very easy to make, you know, Indian students will always be your friends. There's always that there is a relationship that you already share. So do you have to, we were talking earlier about this whole international experience, but you have to sort of find yourself, do you have to sort of remind yourself that, no, come on, like, let me just try hard and let, let me sort of expand my boundaries as it were. Yes, I mean initially you would, I would be very honest, it was a, uh, it was a struggle to get out of that zone. Same. But once you are very confident of what you're doing here, the, you're, you're confident of the systems out here. To be honest, the initial bit is you're so confused as to what is happening. Yeah. They'll, throw much, they'll throw so much at you in the very beginning. It becomes a little tough to manage all that. But once you're through all of that, you'll definitely make from make friends from other nationalities, other 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 backgrounds, and that is where the real learning comes in. Do you have anxious moments when it comes to this? Because you know you're just 18, like you pointed out earlier, and yes, then hey, here you were, far away correct. from home. That's correct, especially like because I'm I'm like much younger than Priyank, so it was like it's even it's like really difficult for me to just like randomly go up to people and just like say hi, and you know it's it's being younger is it's really hard, but it eventually grows in you like the place the people you eventually start getting like um, comfortable around people from other nationalities and then yeah you eventually make friends like even for me like Priyank said like in the beginning um, all I had were Indian friends and then slowly 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 other nationalities which is understandable yes, which yes, is just yes. understandable tell me one thing you know um, what is the one thing that you are just enjoying most on campus? And what is the one thing that you wish you could change apart from the food? Um, one thing that I'm enjoying the most is just like the experience of being here. The, the whole exposure, the experience, the things you go through day-to-day -day life. Like it, it's, it's just What's overwhelming. What's the one thing that's different? Um, definitely interacting with people from all over the world that's i think one of the biggest that really stands yes, out for yes, both of yes, you yes 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 that's really one thing that really stands out what about you Priyanka? what i love about this place first of all it's very well located melbourne is the most multicultural multi-ethnic city of australia so we're very we well well placed over here and uh, the whole experience of coming out here going to those lectures studying um, and, and, and it's obviously all of us very different from India. And that is what I like about being on campus. Do you suddenly feel more responsible, although you're older, but you, than Adit? And he's reminded you that thrice now in the course of the interview. At least thrice I've heard him say. But tell me one thing. Do you feel more responsible? Here you are on your own. You're pretty much you know, responsible for everything that you do out here right from the morning. that you, When you get up, you're responsible for your food, um, getting yourself ready you also go out and work doesn't matter if you're 18 or 25 you will still be working kids out here start working when they're 16 and yeah. study so that is the sort of independence that it brings out in you and that is what is amazing about here you take care of yourself all on your own what do you miss well, what is the one thing that you wish you could change besides the food um what i could change to be honest of course the only thing that i miss out here is family and friends uh, but obviously you make new ones but you always miss the older ones i miss you me i miss working at anything <laughs> that i can say <laughs> right answer he gets yes. five extra points yes. for that despite being older <laughs>trying to get a glimpse into what life on campus is all about, a key part of that is your own personal space. Your room where you spend so much time, where hopefully your parents think that you are getting some studies done as, as well. So here we are, yep. Adit, you're going to take us to the residences. That's correct. This is of course on campus and if you're wondering where Priyank's vanished, well he doesn't stay on campus but off it, yes, which, is also, which is also an option. But tell me this is not just for undergrad students, you said no, it's, it's so, a mixed so, accommodation. So this is like a building, we, we've got around 400 students here mm -hmm. and from different nationalities and everything and it's a mix of undergrad and postgrad mm -hmm. as well. So um, and there are two types of rooms here, one is the studio room where you have your own space, like your own bedroom, own, like your own unit. And then you've got the shared unit where you've got your own bedroom, but you share a common living area, common kitchen, bathroom with four other people. I'm sure that you've cleaned up the space for us, I right? Have. We are not going to see what it actually no. is, is for others, is it? Not. Come on, not. then let's see your cleanup job and what it's been like.
here we are. So this is like a whole system. They decided to drop the L from your name, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Take us through where we are, what we are seeing. So these are my housemates. This is Sam. Okay. This is Elisa. Those are the washrooms. Okay. So we've got two washrooms sharing between five people. That's Sam. Hi, okay. Sam. Hi. Sorry for intruding into your space, no, but no you worries. can blame Adil yeah. and, and not us. <laughs> Well, that's a lovely space, yes, I must say. That's the common kitchen and that's the common living area. <laughs> right. We've been trying to ask him uh, how much of this is actually the way it always is and how much has just been sort of cleaned up in a last oh, minute no, rush. No, rush for, because no, it, is, it is remarkably clean. <laughs> so this is my room. Right, so that's your space. Nice colours. Yes. Tell me, uh, was this the size of the room at home? Uh, no, the size of the room at home was definitely much bigger okay. but that's something you have to adjust as you right, right. yeah you you do need to adjust so. right so how, what time do you do you wake up what is the space uh, all about so we can see the first thing that you see in yes. in the morning when you wake up well there's yes, a lot of sky and park. some green and the car park yes <laughs> and so that we have classes down at that on the second floor of the building also so this this semester of uh Kept most of my classes here, so I just have to go down, roll up, and just go in my PJs to the, those classes. I see. So, uh, and how much time do you sort of actually get to study? Uh, is it the kind of sort of uh, is sports management the kind of subject, or is is learning in such a way that you do need to sit down every day, or is it closer to exams or whatever so sort of evaluation you have? Do, so this is sort of like my planner. Uh, I usually mark all my assignment due dates here. Mm. So usually about... That looks reasonably relaxed. Yes, that, those are just the assignments. Right. So what I usually do is like a week before the assignments, I start doing the assignments. And then obviously it, sports management isn't something that you have to you have to, have to study every day. Mm. Um, it's more sort of you have more pressure on your head during the exams and assignments. Mm. So and I, I personally like mm. can't study with like people around me. Some mm. people like to study with, mm. you know, some other one. Mm. But I can't do that. I usually study right mm. here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so so that's that's quite that's about it. Right. So Right, so now we've got a, a sneak peek, as it were, into Adil's room and, and in fact his life here uh, at the Deacon campus in Burwood right. in uh, Melbourne. Uh, thanks very much for taking our time That's to speak right. to us, uh, Adil. And of course, if you're wondering where Priyank is, well, he's not very far. We haven't seen what his rooms are like. He's, of course, uh, off campus. But uh, thanks so much uh, for your time, really. And all the very best, guys. Yes, I'm sure that there are all those you. who want to get this uh, foreign campus experience who will benefit uh, from the thoughts that you've shared with us. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.